The Trim to Element tool lets you extend or shorten an open element or multiple open elements simultaneously to their intersection with one other element. So let's jump back into MicroStation where we are going to explore this tool by operating on the countertop. Continuing in the proposed restaurant DGN file, let's navigate the view now to the sushi bar near column B6. From the Quick Access toolbar, We'll now click the icon Set Mark. The Set Mark tool will set a marker in the undo buffer back to which subsequent operations can be undone. This is, in essence, a bookmark that will allow you to quickly undo operations that are performed after the mark is added, returning the DGN to the point where the mark was created. For this next task, we'll be trimming the countertop geometry. So, from the ribbon, let's make the active tool. Trim to Element. The Trim to Element tool is used to extend or shorten lines, line strings, or arcs to their intersection with another element. The selected element is modified to intersect with the element chosen for intersection with no overlap. In the tool settings, we are going to disable the option Select Cutting Element First. Then, coming into the view at the sushi bar area, at the countertop, Let's select one of the vertical countertop lines with a data point. These lines were offset in an earlier task. In this case, we'll make sure that we select a line closer to the endpoint that we want to extend. Then, we'll issue a data point on the outermost arc to identify this as the element to extend to. Now, let's go ahead and repeat this step for the adjacent vertical line, extending this as well to the edge of the countertop. As you just saw, the Trim to Element tool can be used to extend elements, but it can also trim or shorten elements as well. Next, we'll select the upper arc. To be specific, the pair of continuous arcs that were drawn with the line style 0. So, it is critical to select this element to the left of the vertical line since this is the portion that we wish to keep. Then, from the pair of vertical lines that we offset in an earlier task, we'll select the vertical line on the left as the cutting element. As you can see, the arc is trimmed back to the intersection of the arc and line. This time, we'll repeat this process by selecting the lower arc as the element to trim and the right vertical line as the cutting element. Now, we just need to complete the countertop trimming. As seen earlier, the Trim to Element tool can be used to extend elements by selecting the elements individually. However, through an option in the tool settings, we can also perform these operations on multiple elements at a given time. So now, we're going to pan to the left side of the counter. With the Trim to Element tool still active, in the tool settings window, we'll enable the option Select Cutting Element First. This essentially reverses the click order of the elements. At the left edge of the countertop, there are two vertical lines. Of this pair, we'll select the line on the right, identifying it as the cutting element. At this point, if we wanted to select more cutting elements, we would need to hold down the control key while selecting each element. Since that is not the case here, the element to be modified will now be selected. Four arcs will be modified, two continuous, two dashed. We could identify each arc individually, but there is a faster way. In the open space below the arcs, let's press and hold the left mouse button. Then, picking a point away from graphics and holding down the left mouse button, this will initiate a drag line. Next, we'll go ahead and drag over the four arcs. As such, this allows multiple elements to be identified as the desired elements to be modified. From here, we can now release the mouse button. As a result, all the arcs are extended to the cutting element in one operation. While the Trim to Element is a good tool in certain applications, there are other trimming extending tools that would better suit your needs. In the next couple of exercises, you will explore these so you can see for yourself. So, at the start of this task, we selected the icon Set Mark 
in the Quick Access Toolbar. Now, we want to undo the design to the state when we first began. From the Quick Access Toolbar, we'll go ahead and click on the down arrow next to the Undo to expose a menu. From here, we'll pick To Mark. As can be seen, all the changes made to the design file after the mark was set have been removed from the model. So now, from the Quick Access Toolbar, we can go ahead and pick Redo. In a single operation, all the changes have been returned to the design. This can be a way to see a before and after representation of changes being made to a design. During this lesson, you learned how to utilize the Trim Element tool by operating on the countertop. You also learned the Undo feature, Set Mark. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.